And that was kind of where you came up with the 10 second philosophy, which Indeed. is which is your book. Indeed. So, so give us kind yeah. of the, the guidelines, the foundations of, of the yeah. 10 second philosophy. Yeah, it's called the 10 second philosophy because um, my epiphany, if you want to call it that, um, came in about 10 seconds. And I realised actually that after all the years of struggling, that in fact, that life wasn't mine. It'd been me following what I thought the world, the clients, the business, industry would have me be. And in that 10 seconds, I realised that um, actually that I was a genius. And I, I, know, I know now that we're all geniuses, but I was, I was actually a genius and the stuff that's inside of me could come and revolutionise my life if I got it outside of me. So one of the things that came to me in that moment was to, um, you know, I'm the guy that had been setting you know, the goals you know, for 17, 18 years. And for 17, 18 years, I got to 38 years and I was still broken depressed. I'd done the goals thing, but read the books and done some courses, still broken depressed. So one of the things that came to me was that uh, goals alone don't work. You know, there's something missing. And what came out of me was actually there was something else. And I discovered what's called the golden link. Now think about the chain of the goals being, uh, being there. And the golden link is something called standards. Not just standards, however, but daily standards. One of the gifts that came out of me was that standards, uh, effectively, the def definition that came to me was a standard is a basis, criteria, level, quality or rule basis criteria and level quality of rule that you set from within, from your truth, and you commit to living from that place just for today. Not for three weeks or three years or 30 years or a 30 year business plan, just for today. So even if you have goals into that distant future, is we achieve our goals and we interact with the world and we engage with the world and the world engages with us based on the standards that we set. So if we engage and set our standards here, that's where we meet the world. When we set them here, the world meets us here. And that's what I realised in that moment. So I began to live by these standards and set new standards around which clients I would see, their income, their, their, their wealth. That, that I set new standards around my business parameters. I wouldn't go and drive anywhere around the country anymore, doing hundreds of miles each day. And all clients must come to me. Um, that's interesting when you call lots of prospective clients you've been trying to do business with and you just tell them, oh, by the way, I'd like to have another meeting with you, but you must come to me. I'm no longer offering to come and see you. Some of them turn up just out of curiosity, <laughs> that's, that's what I found, some of them did. And the others just go, he's lost it. But uh, the key thing is that uh, I began to live by these standards, my business, in my health, standards on my family time, taking kids to school, being there, no more working weekends, no more evening appointments. I went from six days, double full time, to working three and a half days, part time. My income, which is the thing that people saw first, went up by 12 times in three years. And from being a struggling person at this organization to a senior partner and made the first million within three years. The following year I made a million dollars in just that year and that was 2007. So what I realized after all these years, if unless we engage and set standards from our truth from within, so we're consistent with them, so that we are congruent with them, having all the goals in the world will just keep you thinking, one day, I'll be happy one day when I get this weight, income, house, car, job, one day. Tomorrow doesn't come. Happiness is a now experience. And if happiness is a now experience, we need to structure ourselves to remain in the now and live from our truth in the now.